Hey everyone, we're we're live. Is that right, Nick? That is correct. <laughs> okay, everyone. Hey, uh, really quickly here, everyone in this group, thank you for being active, participating, sharing your deals, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, the reason we're here today is simply um, my name is Tom Black. I'm here joined by Nick Gonzalez. He's a successful real estate investor, and he's also the creator of Swift REI. So we're going to talk to him a little bit today about what's what he's doing and using to close more deals and save time and money. So Nick, um, tell me a little bit about your your background and and how you got into the software business. Yeah. Um, so a little bit about me. I started real estate investing probably about five years ago, five six years ago, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, dipped my toes into JVing, did a number of JV deals. Uh, and then when I started really getting bit by the bug, I uh, went into lease options and really, really gravitated towards lease options uh, and, and love lease options. And then of course doing the whole uh, wholesale deals, uh, you know, the various off market stuff as well, doing a couple of land deals here and there. Um, and it's it's been a great process learning and seeing how the market shift uh, you know, is going on and, and all the different aspects of, of real estate changing over the years. Um, yeah. And with how that kind of forced me into the software realm is uh, I'm very uh, analytical and detail oriented. So I like to try to have things as an organized fashion. And at the time when I started, like most people start, you have a full time job. And you try to look for things that are the best software that was out there that could help you track and market and, and text blast or cold call, whatever the case may be. But I needed something that was going to help me with all that and not take away from my time. Mm -hmm. um, and at the time, there was um, I think there was already a reply. There was batch leads, um, uh, investor fuse. And that was really about it. But a lot of them were very you know expensive and uh, and then the ones that weren't required a lot of setups. Uh, okay. So I took it upon myself to kind of create something that was going to be built for me and my business uh, it, solely. I didn't have any intentions on coming out with anything. Uh, but then when it really started doing uh, an amazing wonderment in my business and with my flow and processes of things, I really noticed that it took me away from focusing on things that did not matter. Uh, and it kept me focusing on money making activities and objectives. So I was able. Yeah, I just wanted to add something to that really quickly. You know, revenue generating activities, money making activities, all of those things. Um, so how long ago did you get into real estate? Uh, yeah, it was about five, five, six years ago. Um, before that, I was, you know, I was the doing the the whole YouTube university and reading books on everything and, and uh, following different people and kind of afraid to take my step but when yeah. i uh i finally did that's when things changed uh yeah. when you know you kind of like they said in football if you've ever played football uh in, you know in high school or any kind of sport you know they always say the first hits the hardest uh yeah. when you when you kind of get that first initial deal done you're like oh man that was awesome that was fun yeah. and i got paid right. let's do more right and so that's how that's how that did it and yeah. the being in various groups and stuff and networking and um, that, that, that was a great plus, uh, and, yeah. and, you know, doing deals virtually in, so, in, in my office was amazing. Nice. Yeah. I've done quite a few virtually myself. Hey, when the soft, you mentioned your software, um, one of the things you mentioned between yourself and then some of the other, uh, software tools out there, most of them require a setup or they've got an interface with other softwares and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, are you saying that with Swiss, Swift REI, it's like everything's a business in a box? It's a, it's an absolute business in a box. It's it's an acquisitions factory lead machine ready to go. Uh, the only thing you need to do is it requires maybe like a five minute uh, profile setup. But as far as that goes, you don't have to set up any automations. There is no setup on any complex workflows, uh, any complex campaigns. Do you send out campaigns at 6 a.m.? Do you not? Are your messages compliant? Uh, are they TCPA regulated? All those things you don't and, have to worry and, and about. Real, real quick, Nick, TCPA is what? 
Uh, TCPA is the restriction on uh, text messages and uh, you know with phone number systems and and okay. cold calling stuff. So and it's compliant. Very, your your it, Swift REI is compliant. Yes, with the text okay. messages that we have built in, uh, you can build off those as examples. Uh, but there's 66 preloaded for you in various forms and fashions. Um, there are uh, so there's so one thing I want to say also, Tom, is um, with these systems, sometimes they only give you one ability or one strategy to target. You, okay. you may have wholesaling is the big one. Uh, and then you just have some of them now uh, are going after just agents only. With Swift REI, you get all these things built in and automated, but with that target, Zillow Fisbo leads, Craigslist for rent by owners. So that covers all your creative financing, all your lease options, any ability to do those, that covers it right there. They're built in for you. And then it covers agent on market. So we also do agent on market outreach. We also do JV wholesaling outreach within Swift REI. And then of course the, the, the big kahuna, the wholesaling off market property leads. Right. Okay. Okay. So it sounds to me like you got into the business, you were looking at all these other tools and you're spending three, four or $500 a month. Right. Mm -hmm. And you had to go to different sites to get what you wanted. Correct. Right. And then because of some of your software background and knowledge, you are able to create Swift REI that is able to do it all in one place for what are you charging? Like two ninety seven a month? Uh, no, uh, it's 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 just ninety seven dollars a month for Swift REI. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and um, when someone decides to come on board, um, do you give any? Um, like one-on-one, -on -one, like, uh, can they get on with you one-on-one -on, -one on Zoom or something like that and take a few minutes to go over it or is it just tutorials? Absolutely, uh, this is a great question, uh, Tom. The It does come with an onboarding. So there is an uh, onboarding fee on the initial purchase. It's 197 for the onboarding uh, okay. and then plus 97. Then after that, it's 97 every month. But with the onboarding fee, you get to talk to not a VA, not an assistant and not an employee you, you get to talk to me directly the owner and the developer and i go with you uh on a personal one-on-one -on -one zoom where we go through your account we, we i i give you my recommendations on how to set it up what to do first and help you upload your first campaign to get you going within your purchase okay wow all right that's amazing so um how do i go about um um, getting the the tool or how does any of the, our listeners or members in this group, um, how can they get Swift REI? Yeah, they can, uh, uh, they can go to this website here, the people conductor. Uh, so if I, um, it, it, people conductor dot Swift um, okay. that's, that's, uh, that's using Tom's, uh, uh, page landing page here. Uh, and you can go there and it will take you to Swift REI after you click the, uh, uh, the, you know, to kind of go further the purchase button and you can, we have a live demo on there. We have all the information of what we offer and there's so much to cover with Swift REI that's proprietary to Swift REI. Right. Uh, we have, um, one thing that's great and that uh, a lot of people kind of when users get the software, they're they're very like, oh, man, this was amazing. It's like a colorful rainbow in my in my scope pipeline right. is all the leads are color coded for you. So okay. uh, you never have to stare at a white card or everything looks the same. You can quickly at a glance know exactly what kind of lead it is just by looking in your in your pipeline. OK. Um, and we have uh, something that. Uh, I kind of took from my development background of UX UI design uh, it is more in what UX UI design is more user friendly, intuitive experiences. Uh, and that's what that consists of. Okay. And I took within Swift to create something called Swift keys. So you never have to leave a screen of uh, when you have uh, leads come in and respond, you never have to leave a screen. You can qualify all your leads in a matter of seconds. And when these Swift keys are clicked, automations and things are happening in the background that you don't have to worry about setting up. It's right. just done for you. Now, when we talk about automation, some people talk about 
uh, text blasting or ringless voicemail or all different types of things. All right. Um, take me through. Um, I have a thousand leads and I have Swift REI. What do I do? Uh, you can upload them. So what, what kind of leads are they? Um, the, they're, they're vacant properties. Vacant properties? Yeah. yeah, you would just upload those leads into Swift REI and you would add them to the wholesale campaign. And so with the wholesale campaign, it's a very, um, that one's tailored for properties. But what you can do is you can add them into there or duplicate that campaign and just change the verbiage to a land if per se. Okay. And if you wanted to add that in there, you can send them out. You can drip these leads to go out in a text campaign. You can, if you have their emails, you can also add them the emails in there to them. You can cold call them however you wish. Uh, I preferably love the text blast. Um, that's where I do most of my business with everything. I mm -hmm. uh, I really only like talking to leads that want to talk to me. So okay. and, and I, do you have minimum amounts that you send or when I set up an automation, take me through that. What, what's going out? And what kind of results have you been getting? Right. Uh, so typically, uh, I mainly do a lot of Zillow Fizbos. Uh, so when I do stuff to Zillow Fizbos, I usually send anywhere between, depending on the market size, is anywhere between 450 to about 600 and some uh, text messages. Um, I usually have to have more numbers if I want to blast them all in one day. Right. If I only have one number, uh, one number can only send 180 messages per day. Uh, so typically I like to drip them out. So I always have a constant flow of leads every day. And then from there, what I like to do is, uh, I, I screen them and qualify them, uh, within my swift keys and, uh, talk to the hots and I start giving up proposal offers, which are also built in swift REI. Okay. Okay. And then do you have in the workflows, do you have like a place, you know, with where you take the opportunity and then you kind of move it along? in the process and so yeah, uh, you can you can move them along uh, but the yeah. great thing about it is you don't have to okay. uh, swift keys takes care of all that for you so yeah. uh i can show i can go ahead and demonstrate that um yeah, if sure. you'd if like you want to do some of that sure let's do it yeah let me go ahead and uh let me go down to this and uh let me go to share screen here All right. Okay. So uh, let's just say these are people that responded, right? Um, then we're going to see some pretend responses in here or something. And let's just say this person said, you know, uh, yes to my offer. So I'm going to say, uh, first of all, I'm going to take them out of that. They're already in something. So let me refresh it. And the, the great thing about this is it's typically um, in some softwares, you have to click into the screen, then click back out and then click out again to see what the next lead is. Sure. You know, with, within this, you don't have to. So the way I'm going to simulate that is I'm going to get these, these test leads here. Okay. And so now let's just say this is, this is all in my inbox, right? Um, mm -hmm. that, that people responded to. So let's just say they respond to uh, this message and say, you know, yeah, Nick, I'm open to your 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 lease purchase offer. Okay, I'm gonna go to hot next. Okay, so I'm on the next lead. Okay. So this one is saying, you know, no, I'm not interested in your deal. Um, we're only looking for traditional financing. Okay, not interested. Okay. Um, this one says maybe in about three weeks, you know, I don't know. We want to see offers first come in from other people. Okay, I'm gonna put them in a cold. Okay. All right, and then this one says. You know, hey, yeah, we're open to a deal. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and just hear your offer. Okay. Okay. So that's what you're saying that you can in minutes just go through the leads because they continue to, you all got to do is keep hitting next. Right. Like, and so know. where, and, and people are probably wondering what happens? Where do they go? Right. Uh, they go into your scope pipeline. And there you can see the ones that we already hit. So one was that already had a tag as a JV. So JVs are a coffee color. Okay. And Davies, just so everyone knows, are joint ventures with doing business with other people on these deals. Right. Yeah. yeah. Joint venture deals. Yeah. And then they're great. I love doing those. Uh, uh, then you have uh, wholesale, which is in orange. 
right. and then Zillow Fizbo's in blue. And if we have a Craigslist one here, they would be purple. Okay. Gotcha. Now, what is something else that you thought about when you were making this that was something that really was the be biggest and best time saver? Really, really, honestly, uh, Tom, it, it was this. It, it, okay. it was not having to leave multiple screens. Okay. Uh, that was something that was huge. And the, the, big, the biggest time saver, and a lot of people starting out in real estate investing make this mistake. Uh, they love to just look at stuff that they have in their follow-ups. How many warm follow-ups do they have? And so with this, uh, you, you, we have these different scope pipelines, right? But they're designed for when you use swift keys that you don't have to look at them right you, you know the acquisition pipeline is where you're going to make your money that's your where your time and your effort and your focus needs to be okay so that for me that was the most time saving aspect of it because here if i'm limited and if i get off of work and i only have three hours to work some leads or two hours to work some leads i know that i've got a number of hots that said yes to me Understood. that are open to my offer just okay. from an initial text blast. So right. these are the people that I can call and close and move them down the pipeline. So take me through um, the timeline. So when did you have this fully functional, this tool, mm -hmm. and when did you start making money with it as, a, um, as, a, as in your, for your, your business? Uh, well, I, um, I started um, right here. Hold on. Let me kind of fix this here. Uh, I started the timeline of this was roughly about um, within the first year and a half to two years. I already was already I was already getting antsy. Um, okay. I, I was using um, I was using Batch at the time, and I was using another software uh, that I, I can't really remember the name of it. Okay. Automated REI, and they had they had uh, Text Blaster. Uh, and then I was using text magic and there was just a bunch of different things that I was trying to do that I liked one thing from one and they didn't like the thing from the other. Right. Um, now that was, was the complicating part uh, of that. So um, being able to kind of address some things uh, and fix some things first for myself was, was huge. And that's when I started noticing that and it, and it started small. It was just, how do I keep these text blasts organized? And then how do I have it send out a small automation? Okay. And then it just kind of built from there as the process started, you know, hitting me and what I needed with my business. Right. It started just growing and growing and growing and growing from there. Right. So, so you're actively using Swift air every day in your business. Oh yeah. Um, and uh, when, when were you happy with its functionality and, being able for you to use it before you brought it to the marketplace. Uh, did, you really, did you really get it like rocking and rolling about a year or two ago? And then you've just been tweaking it. Uh, no, it's, it, I've, I've actually, I had it probably in the works for like the last year and a half uh, okay. cool. where I, where I was using it and I was testing it out and I didn't release it out until it was, it was, you know, okay. foolproof at that point. Well, and this is part of the launch party. I mean, there's a lot more that we're going to do, but I definitely wanted to get on here with you. You know, we've had a, obviously a couple of conversations about it. Um, I wanted to try and have some of these questions from a user's point of view. What, what do I want from it? Mm -hmm. Right. And so you're saying that the, the uses and, and the value is you save time and money. And you can get to focusing on you said money making activities, right? Right, right. The uh, the money making activities is is the the important part with that because without without having any focus, uh, you don't you can get easily get very disorganized within this business. You can you can you forget what lead you talk to. You forget uh, you're 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 worried about things that don't need to happen. So essentially. You're not supposed to so real estate investors. We're not supposed to be software developers, right? You know, we're, we're, we're not supposed to be people who set up, you know, automations and know how that works and know crazy complex systems. We're just supposed to get on the phone, make offers, close deals and, 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 you know, hopefully mm -hmm. be able to cash checks at the end of the day. Sure. Um, 
it's, you already have enough on your plate as a job as an investor to know all the rules and policies of that in certain mm -hmm. states, markets, uh, regulations, and then to know the strategies and then to be a good negotiator. Those are the things that you really need to focus on, not building softwares. So um, where I knew that when I created this, that this could help a lot of people that are out there um, that were probably in the same position as me at one point okay. where I needed something to run my business faithfully every single day that it would run and it would work, it would function, but it would give me way more ability with automations that uh, could save me time uh, okay. and, and, and further me along my investing journey. Okay. So you can, you can, you have obviously come a, a long way with this, but what they, what's the old saying is necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. And so what you've done is you've taken the, the, your favorite parts of multiple software tools and created a one-stop shop for the real estate investor, just like you. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Right. And it was some, uh, definitely some finishing touches uh, that yeah. are <laughs> Absolutely. more. Uh, yeah. Well, well, I, I just want to let you know, Nick, I've really enjoyed this time. I certainly appreciate your energy. You're a brilliant man. And I love what you've created. What I also wanted to see if you could do before we land the plane can can you share my link again? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then I just wanted to say um, what I, I wanted to ask you, uh, what market or markets are you actively doing real estate in? And are you open to doing joint venture deals with your users? Yeah, um, I I do. I, I'm based in Texas, so I love Texas. I mean, Texas has, you know, a lot of the cities are in the top list of those markets anyway. Uh -huh. So. I, I love doing Texas. Uh, I do um, Kentucky. I do Alabama. I do Atlanta sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'll do uh, Mississippi and, and stuff around there. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, and, and I've, I'm open to doing JV deals with Swift users or whoever um, okay. and, and love meeting new people, um, you know, that uh, in, in any way we can help each other, you know, get better. That's yeah. I'm all for that. Well, I, I certainly don't mind this being part of the uh, the um, recording today, but, uh, you know, our mutual friend uh, loves social media like we do. And and Ron Leda brought us together. And I'm really glad that he did, because I know the three of us are going to be making money on deals um, starting today um, based on our recent conversations. Now we have Swift REI to help everybody. And those people listening, tuning in, we want to do business with you. I sat down and figured out the other day over 336 real estate transactions. I've shared fees or commissions with well over 600 people in the past 19 years. Wow. And, 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 and Nick's going to help us go to a whole different consistent level, saving time and money. So Nick, is there anything you want to add before we, uh, we wrap up? Uh, no, I, I think that, uh, I think it's important that when uh, you do pick a system and I'm not, you know, it's going to sound biased, right? But I mean, it's, it's truthful. When you're picking a system, make sure you're going to pick a system that works for you and your strategies and your business. And, and that's going to help, you know, you're putting your hard earned money into it. Make sure it's going to give you all that it possibly can for a return on your money. Right. Right. Well, I think you are someone that everyone has the opportunity to connect with you. Obviously, my link is on the screen. If you want to get started right away, uh, you can go to SwiftREI.io and connect with Nick about possibly deals that you have in Texas or other markets. <laughs> but you know, this this uh, one of the things I say to folks all the time, Nick, is collaboration is the key to unlimited abundance. Mm, so that's powerful. So let's let's get it, everybody. Thank you, yeah. again. thank you again, Nick. I appreciate you. Thank you, Tom. And, and Ron, he's been quiet. Uh, thank you, Ron, <laughs> for being here. So. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. And uh, I guess we'll be seeing y'all soon on something, uh, another one coming up. All right. Well, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> All righty. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye.